HSC Newsletter, the 31st of October 2020, issue number one. Safety Alert, Learning from Incidents. On the 5th of December 2019 at 16.30 hours while pulling out of the hole after reverse circulation excess cement, the driller commenced pulling out of the hole with the variable pipe rams of the blowout preventer in the closed position. When the tool joint hit the pipe ram the entire mast, including pipe stands collapsed towards the catwalk area. The derrickman was killed and three other crewmen were injured. A similar incident can be caused by one working a stuck pipe with overpull and the mast loaded with pipe tubing stands, especially in work of a rig. Two malfunction of MD while work in the string. Happened in Egypt at least three times in the past years. Rig 52, a few years ago when they were pulling out of a tight hole and weight indicator malfunctioned and the string parted. Rig 72. During the BTE-1 re-entry were operations when work in the stack pipe, the MD weight indicator had an oil leak. As a result, the real weight pull could not be seen and the string parted. Recent Rig 72 mast deformation incident during the rig up, when the mast was pulled against the mast stop. Things to check, how do you know the structure is able to withstand multiple shock impacts? How do you ensure the tension of the supporting guy lines are measured as per original equipment manufacturer OEM, recommendations? How do you know that the blowout preventer status is checked prior to commencing pulling out of hole? Do you know the weakest point on the hoisting system, structure design and the operating envelope? How do you know that procedures are clear, available, current, and workable? How do you ensure the people are out of the line of fire? Be aware that we have noted that on certain rigs, hoists, the BOP indicator lights are not working. The above incident shows how important these indicator, open, closed, lights are. Additional the plate with the word closed, has to be one the brake at all time when the bop is closed. Incidents like these are of the worst category and have the potential to kill many people. There is little to no time to escape to a safe place for the people on the drill floor or are around the rig when this happens. It is important that all working in these areas on the rig is 100% certain that it is safe to apply force pull on the mast. What are you going to do to ensure that this will not happen to you? Safety Leadership What are the biggest challenges to be a safety leader? According to a global extended study the top challenges for safety leaders are 1. The challenge of developing the relevant skills, time management, prioritization, decision making, and to be more effective at work. 2. The challenge of inspiring and motivating others to ensure they're satisfied with their jobs. 3. The challenge of developing others, including mentoring and coaching. 4. The challenge of team building, team development and team management, how to instill pride, how to provide support, how to lead a big team. 5. The challenge of managing, understanding leading change and deal with employees' reactions to change. 6. The challenge of managing relationships, politics, and image. This leadership challenges include gaining managerial support, managing up, and getting buy-in from other departments, groups, or individuals.
try to see what you can do to improve your knowledge and skills to deal with the above challenges to become a better safety leader. Rig Site Safety Drills The rig crews and supervisors of XX Rig Hash have taken the safety drills on Rig Hash to the next level. Recently they planned for and executed a search and rescue drill that included the full follow-up, including transport to the rig clinic and subsequent transfer to the ambulance to be ready for medevac. After the drill the rig doctor demonstrated to the crews the techniques for first aid and CPR. The importance of conducting drills like these is significant. It allows the crews to get a feel for the difficulties of doing a S and R exercise and recovery of a real injured person, and not a lightweight dummy, whilst breathing through a BA set. Additional to this S and R drill with follow-up, they also conducted a confined space entry rescue drill, where they simulated that a person that was cleaning inside the tank had slipped and badly hurt his leg. The drill included the use of the tripod. winch to recover the IP from the tank. The recovery team experienced firsthand how difficult it is to move inside a mud tank. Getting an IP prepared for being hoisted out of the tank and performing the actual job of getting the IP out of the tank and onto a stretcher for medevac to the clinic. It is only when drills are executed, as realistic, like these drills that all involved will get a good feel of how difficult the task is. Please see if you can perform drills on your rig, hoist operations in a more realistic way to allow all involved to get a better appreciation of the task of rescuing a person, fighting a fire or other emergency responsibility. Did you know that Egypt loses about 12,000 lives due to road traffic crashes every year? This equals half the population of the village. Thousands of individuals each year underestimate the power of a pressure washer and ultimately require hospitalization for their injuries. High pressure injection occurs when water and other debris, chemical penetrates the skin and causes deep tissue damage, ultimately leading to permanent disability or amputation of the affected body parts. Thirty-eight percent of construction deaths in the Middle East occurred because of poor supervision. 
Lack of supervision has been a main factor in a number of major high-profile accidents in the past, such as the Piper Alpha oil rig fire in 1998. The U.S. Bureau of Labor reports one million worker per year go to the hospital due to hand injuries. 70% of workers who experienced hand injuries were not wearing gloves. The remaining 30% of injured workers did not the correct type of glove. this bell icon so you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone